Right, so if you start off with a sort of your folder with all your programs in it open, and also if you open your hard drive, NCS Expert folder, and then the work folder, then that should contain all of this. And just this one here, this FSW PSW man, if you just make sure that's empty, so if you open that up in a text editor, then anything that's in there, <coughs> just delete it and then save it because um, that's what NCS Expert will write to and read from so just make sure that's empty um, so next probably a good start is to check open IMPA and just make sure that you're actually connected so you've got your battery and ignition on so once you've done that open NCS Expert let's close that start again so open NCS Expert. <coughs> so file, load profile. And you should hopefully have a dummy profile or something like that. Once that's loaded, click on this VIN ZCS FA button. And then this one here, ZCS SA ECU. Select the chassis, E39. And then just select one of these. I'll just use EWS because I haven't had any trouble with it yet. Click OK. And that will then find uh, your VIN number and stuff. So once you've got that, <coughs> you can then click back. Now, for reading data, you need to make sure that this job name is correct. Now, I'm pretty sure that's correct, but I will just quickly double check on that guide that I've got the right one so that's all about so yeah at this point it's set to SG code and hearing which means right to all which you don't want so you need to change the job to code and hearing lesson which is to read which is what mine's on so to change that <clears throat> click on process ECU you select an ECU to uh, that you want to read from so I believe you want the LCM and then change job and change that code and data lesson because that is to read click OK and then click execute So what that's now done is that's now read everything off the LCM and put it into that file there, your fswpsw.man. Uh, it hasn't actually at all, it's put it in the trace one, sorry. You can see that it's been updated today. So what you now want to do is copy that, paste it somewhere. Let's get rid of these two. So you just want to keep a copy of that because if anything goes wrong, that is what you can put back on there. So now make a copy. This one here, you want to change the name, just the end of it, to man. Yes, you want to change it. That then changes it to a man file. So now NCS dummy can now read that file. So open NCS dummy. Select the chassis, E39. If you then browse <coughs> and select that file that you were just using. That one. That one. Now you need to select the module. Now there's loads of different modules and loads of different types for the same module. So if you just click on LCM, if it doesn't allow you to edit anything, you've got the wrong one and that little X there. So I just click through until you get the correct one. There we go. So now 
you can get tick boxes that means that you've got the correct one so once you're in here this is how you then edit everything so all you have to do is scroll through until you find what you want so I believe you said you wanted <coughs> the US running lights turning off see all of this stuff you can change Here we are, so dimmed front turn signals as US cider marker lights. So yours will say active, same as mine does because I've got it on. So what you want to click is that one, not active. Once you've done that, <coughs> you can continue to click through and anything else that you want to change at all, you can change. And then you want to click on this button here, export, and then you export the man. Once you've done that, need to remember where it puts it so if you click on that one there right click on that you can open the containing folder ah, and as you can see it's put it back in the NCS expert work as the FSW PSW man so once that is in there you then go back to NCS expert sorry where is it there <coughs> so click change job select SG Coderan that is now going to write so that is right to that ECU and then all you do is click execute job I'm not going to do it because I don't want to change it um, it will come up saying coding active and then coding ended and that should be it if you then turn off your ignition turn it back on again um, and check it it should have made the changes you wanted um, then once you're done with that just go back into that work folder open that which will now be full of all the information that you just saved select all delete and close it save it let's check again that should now be empty so that means you can't write anything by accident to the wrong module um, the alarm beeps I think are in the GM3 module so again change job that and lesson okay just check that I've got the right one again yeah change ECU to the GM3 OK check that still there code and lesson execute job done so again open that work folder copy your trace again I'm just going to delete these two because I don't need them now so into there copy that again to make your copy edit that to be a man file then open NCS dummy browse do a new one it will try and open it as an LCM and it can't so then if you then find the GM3 module here again just check keep going through until you get the correct one there we go correct one and then you can go through again and turn off anything and everything you don't want in here again there's loads and loads and loads of stuff um, so I'm pretty sure that the alarm is in here because I turned it off myself uh. oh <coughs> uh. oh 
I might have just not quite got to it. So we're at the anti-theft alarm sensor bit. So here, visual acknowledge, turn signal flash enabled, acoustic locking acknowledge, not enabled. And then go down a little bit further, acoustic unlocking acknowledge, two alarm beeps, not enabled. So again, just click both of those, not enabled, anything else that you want to change, and do the same again. <coughs> Export back into NCS Expert, your job, you want to change to SG Coderan and then execute job and that again will then write what you've just saved <coughs> and edited back onto your GM3 module and then that should be everything you want to do and then obviously anything else you want to do you can do whatever you want you can get into any of these modules and adjust stuff and whatever you fancy really so yeah just make sure you keep copies of everything because if anything goes wrong you can just put it straight back and yeah easy like that really